They're all pop. They're they're all profit somehow from everything that's happening because things get funding from you know it's it. It's the fact that that more isn't being done to stop the genocide. You know from also people isn't on this there side, a clip. Like, there's a clip of somebody talking about the genocide in Gaza and President Biden is stand, or sitting behind them and then he starts clapping. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. I feel like I saw this like two or three times um, the other day <clears throat> uh, where somebody's talking about we need to have, we need to stop what's going on overseas basically and then he's over there. And cool. That's you're like, great. wait, you're the reason. Right. Like, uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip down a little bit and stay on topic here. Um, is Israel's <laughs> Minister of Defense uh has said that the assault on Gaza will not stop, regardless of any talks of ceasefire or hostage negotiations. Oh. Uh, we are in a process of a continuous engagement to wear down the enemy. Any negotiations with the terrorist organization Hamas will only be conducted under fire because that seems like a great way to go. So basically it doesn't matter what negotiations are happening. It doesn't matter mm. if there's any talks that are happening of ceasefire. Israel has said that they're still going to keep bombing regardless. Oh, wow. So for people that are wondering why, these protests are happening and why people are very anti-Israel right now. This is exactly why. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they're unwilling to stop the fucking genocide because they literally have said that they, that their whole fucking point is to annihilate the entire population. Population, thank you. I was looking for the word of of Palestinians. Mm -hmm. They don't give a fuck. By the time that they're willing to sit down and talk about like peace and ceasefires, there will be nothing left, and that's their goal. Well, and all this craziness too. 